Have you tried VR yet? Have you put on the whole VR setup? Yeah, a couple years ago, I got to go shoot the behind the scenes of Dan Carlin, the hardcore, hardcore history. history. Yeah, you I know, love Dan Carlin. He he consulted with this company who did a VR for his Blueprint to Apocalypse. Um, oh, so that's the World War One series, right? Yeah. So they built this a VR set. That was like a trench, but it was the whole experience because they you put the goggles on and they they start it up and you start in one of those what looks like you're in a balloon. Like back in the, those days, they sent officers up in balloons to get reconnaissance. So you start that way. And then as the, the VR experience progresses, you come down from the balloon and you instantly go into the trench and there's haptic feedback on the ground. So when there, there's explosion in your goggles, you feel the ground shaking. And then you, you move towards the end of the trench and there's a charge about to happen. And they all have their gas masks on and they all charge out and all get mowed down. It's, it's pretty brutal. It was- <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, pretty it, depressing. Yeah, and you wrap around into the bunker. They had hung some, some fake rats. So when you're mm-hmm. in the goggles, dead rats hanging and you can reach up and touch them. Like they were still trying to get the depth because it was a little off. Like I was feeling the rat here where it was here in my vision and it was still a work in progress when we were there. What'd you but think of it were though? Really Oh, it was really cool. It was video game like though, because it was like it was all animation. That's my most recent experience with VR. So I haven't had to, I haven't experienced a lot of it yet. But if that was uh, something to go on, then it's really cool, and I'd love to uh, try more of it. What do you think is the future for video, and in the sense of immersive technologies like VR and AR? Is something important because Apple's rumored AR glasses that may be coming out. The ability with LiDAR and stuff stuck into our phones and iPads to create AR experiences really easily and accessible. What are the opportunities, especially for people who have trained classically, like you, to get uh, into this space and make cool stuff? I, I know of one guy that I've shot with who, who has gone into VR full time as a, a camera operator. I'm not quite sure what he does, but he's involved with setting up the cameras and, and acquiring the images that eventually go into probably where VR really happens, which is in the computers. So I think there's probably jobs out there, but I also think, I think you're going to see, because VR kind of requires a a level of precision, like I was saying, like reaching out and touching something and having it be in the right depth and all that kind of stuff. I feel like the camera work for that kind of stuff is going to probably be more of a robotic kind of thing. I just don't think you're going to need a... a human's not going to be able to to do that. Do I think we'll still be watching screens like oh, the way we have been for the last hundred years? I think so because we still go watch plays on a stage too. 